Okay, our next one is the Viking ship swing. So again, we're using our timer. Let's make sure it's set up correctly. You wanna make sure it's set to interval. Again, we're measuring the time something is occurring and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that A is also highlighted green. Now, once that's set, you're gonna make sure your pendulum is set up. So I'm gonna make sure I have only five washer weights set up right here. And you're gonna see my timer is at the top of the pendulum swing. Now, one thing to note about the timer. Again, you see that green button, meaning that it's ready to go. And I noticed that it turns red when this swings. You'll wanna kind of make sure that the blue piece is about level with the end of the timer because that's what's gonna to help to take the time. So here, what we're gonna see is how does the time change, meaning the time it takes to swing back and forth depending on how high up my pendulum goes. So like the Viking ship ride, what's the difference between being very high up or only starting down low? So we're gonna record our data for our Viking ship lab. Again, we're gonna be looking at the time. And our first angle that we need to take measurements of is when it's at about 20 degrees. Since we're not using any specific way to tell 20, it's about when it's at the five o'clock position. And then we're gonna release. Now, what you wanna wait for is when the data gets consistent. So when I release this and I come to look at my data, I'm gonna wait a second. So now it's kind of consistent. 0 0.08, I've probably gone a little too far. So those initial numbers were at 0 0.08, 0 0.07, 0 0.06. I'm going to record that number to the nearest hundredth. So 0 0.08 might be my time. The next measurement I'm going to take is when I pull it to 45 degrees. So we're going to go about halfway up, okay, 45 degrees being about 3 o'clock, 4, 3.30 on our time, and then we're going to release. One thing to be careful about is that you're releasing perfectly straight. You're not pulling it horizontally or to where it's kind of off. You want it to be perfectly straight. Your partner should be reading the time data. Okay, I come over here. I'm seeing the time data. We don't wanna wait until it stops because then it shouldn't be moving anymore. So I should have already taken my time, best time, it's a general, because it does change slightly every time it swings. So now I stop it. My third data point is gonna be up at 90 degrees. So where it's completely horizontal, you're gonna wanna be careful because I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. One partner is gonna need to hold the base of the swing so that when I release, everything doesn't fall over. So it's completely horizontal. See how it swung a little bit? So again, we're gonna be looking at the time it takes to complete the swing and recording that to the nearest 10th or 100th, to the nearest 100th. 